The following video asks us to find the slopes of lines A and B. And as you can see, the, the, the slopes are given to you, or the lines are given to you, and you want to find this idea of a slope. Well, when we talk about slope, we have a couple definitions for it. One of those is uh, what we call the rise over the run, um, which basically means how far up and down is the line going in the same time that it goes left and right. Um, and the way we look at this is a triangle, but it's all about a, a ratio or a comparison of the vertical rise of something versus the horizontal run of something, a line. Uh, we also refer to slope as m. That's kind of the standard variable you use. And another way we call it, if we term, think of it in terms of the x-y coordinates, we call it the change in y over the change in x. Um, and so that's another way to, to go through and think about this is, is change in y over change in x. So there, there, there are two different ways you can look at it, rise over run or change in y over change in x. If you're going to do rise over run, uh, usually what you do is you find a, a coordinate or a point on your graph and, and you go to another point and you make a triangle and you look at it. Um, and so on this particular one, I'm going to look at, look at the slope of A. So I've done an MA and I'm going to pick out two points. And so I've picked out these two points. Uh, or actually, I've picked out a few different points. And all, all of these points can be used to help us calculate the slope. But I'm just going to pick two of them. And I'm going to draw a triangle in. And so you can, I'm going to draw my triangle down and then over. So it, uh, if I go down, what is what is looks looks like two units, and then I go over, it looks looks like six units. That gives me an idea of well, every two units I drop, I need to actually go over six units. So as my line drops two units, it goes to the right six. Well, one thing we remember is for slope, if you go down, we always count that as a negative. So our rise was a negative two. Now our run, since we're going to the right, we're going to call that positive. So to the right's positive, left's negative, down's negative, up's positive. And so our, our slope of this line is going to be a negative two rise over six runs. So we can simplify that to negative one third. So the slope of A is one, negative one third. Now let's go calculate the slope of B. Again, find a couple points on the line that will uh, allow us to draw the triangle in between them. So I'm going to identify a couple points there. And it doesn't matter where the points are on the line. The slope is the same all the way about this line. So I'm going to pick this point, and I'm going to go up. I always go up and down first, and then to the right. So I'm going to go up, and it looks like I went up three units. And then I went to the right two units. So my rise was a positive three, and my run was a positive two. So that gives me a slope of 3 over 2, which is 3 halves. We don't need to simplify it anymore. So the slope of A was negative 1 third. Slope of B was 3 halves.